What is going on guys? This is Brian with Simple Man's Comics in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com and in this video I'm going to give you my weekly picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, August 22nd, 2018. Beast of Burden Wise Dogs and Eldridge Men number one kicks off the week. This comes from Dark Horse Publishing, a heroic pack of canines known as the Wise Dogs set off on a mission to clean up a Pennsylvania corridor plagued by seamlessly unrelated occult disturbances that include a fire salamander and a horde of mutant lurkers. This has a regular cover by Benjamin Dewey. There's also a regular price variant by Raphael Albuquerque. I have this in this video because Animosity for, from Aftershock Comics is doing a lot of great things. This might be on the same line as that. It is an eight-time Eisner winning series, so it's worth picking up for the read. Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 12, The Reckoning Number 3. The battle against future vampire and slayer twin Hearth and his legion of evil has already begun in the present when Buffy, Frey, and the Scoobies return from the future ready to fight. There's three different covers. There's a regular Stephanie Hans cover, a regular price George's Genty variant, and a regular price Scott Fisher ultra cover. I have this in this video. I love the Stephanie Hans cover. I'm not a big Buffy fan. Man, I never heard of Buffy the Vampire, but whatever. I love Slayer. But I do love the Hans art, and with news of the TV show being rebooted, it might be worth picking up. Action Comics number 1002. A bold new era of the adventures of the Man of Steel continues as bodies fall from the sky and buildings burn around the city of tomorrow. There's three different covers. It's a regular Patrick Gleason cover, a regular price Francis Manipal variant, and a regular price David Mack variant. I've been liking the David Mack variants on these, so that's what I'm going to pick up. Batman Beyond number 23. I like this issue because the rumor is they might reveal who the new Scarecrow is, which if you read Batman Beyond 22, Jack Ryder, who was a villain now turned national news anchor, hinted that the villain might be his co-anchor, Adeline Stern. So we might have us a female Scarecrow, and now I'm really digging that. There's two different covers for this. There's a regular Victor Kovachev cover. There's also a regular Price Dave Johnson variant. I like the regular cover, the art on that's fantastic, so I'm going to probably pick that up. Batman Kings of Fear number one. This is issue one of a six issue mini written by Scott Peterson and art by Kelly Jones. Batman's been overseeing Gotham City for years now and isn't sure how much of a difference he's making. Doubt, fear, and insecurity are starting to take over. And as all those negative feelings set in, Scarecrow orchestrates a riot at Arkham Asylum to give the Dark Knight one of its greatest challenges yet. There's a regular Kelly Jones cover. There's also a regular price variant by Bill Sinkovitz. Detective Comics number 987. Batman has tasked Katana, Black Lightning, The Signal, and Orphan with stopping a rogue operator using alien technology that can crack into any mine on Earth. There's a regular Eddie Barrows cover. There's also a regular priced Mark Brooks variant. Flash number 53. It's a slippery slope for the Scarlet Speedster when he must team up with the frosty Commander Cold to stop a powered up trickster from trashing Central City. The trickster's first target is the maximum security prison, Iron Heights, which could mean a criminal breakout the city would never survive. We have a regular cover by Dan Mora. There's also a regular price variant by John Boy Myers, not Francesco Mattina this time. Justice League Dark Number 2. I enjoyed the first issue. Zatanna seems to have lost control of her magic. Upside Down Man's coming, so I'm looking to see where it's going with this issue. There's a regular cover by Alvaro Martinez. There's also a regular price variant by Greg Capullo. Suicide Squad Annual Number 1. Thrown together to apprehend an escaped inmate, Solomon Grundy, Ragdoll, and Merlin head into the muck surrounding Bell Rev, but no one is prepared for a meeting with the Swamp Thing. Bodies decay quickly in the bayous of Louisiana, and the Avatar of Green doesn't care if the squad makes it out alive. Teen Titans Number 21. Gizmo is the next on the Teen Titans target list, whose neighborhood toy store secretly serves as a front for his arm dealing business. But this whole escapade is about to blow up in their faces when they find Gizmo strapped to an atomic bomb that's about to go off right in the middle of New York City. And it's rush hour to boot. We have a regular cover by Bernard Chang. There's also a regular price variant by Alex Gardner. Alex Gardner's one of my favorite artists. Love this cover. Teen Titans has been fun to read. So I'm going to make the Gardner variant my pick of the week. Wonder Woman number 53. I'm really enjoying this five issue run that Steve Orlando is writing. I kind of liked it better than James Robinson writing before him, but hey, to each his own, I guess. 
This will have a regular cover by David Yarden. There's also a regular price variant by Jenny Friesen. I've been liking these retro Friesen covers. I know a lot of people have been hating on them, but all I gotta say is, don't hate, appreciate. Cold Spots number one. This is number one of a five issue miniseries from Image Comics. It's written by modern horror comic master Colin Bunn. 10 years ago, Dan Kier turned his back on his wife and unborn daughter. Now, both have gone missing and Dan must face cosmic terrors to find them again. He soon finds that ghosts stir when his estranged daughter is near and as the dead grow restless. Die, Die, Die number two. Now this is the series that was secretly released with Oblivion Song. Number two is gonna have four different regular covers for it. It's gonna be filled randomly. There's also gonna be an incentive retailer appreciation gold foil variant. Redneck number 14. Now last issue was start of a new arc. Started off slow, picked up pace towards the end. There was happy reunions, unhappy reunions. So I'm sure the action's gonna start ramping up again. Written by Donny Cates, can do no wrong. This is gonna have two covers. There's the regular cover, and then there's a regular priced virgin variant of the same cover as well. Shanghai Red number three. The two of the men who abducted her carved off her list. Red's hands are bloody again as she looks to take out the rest of the names responsible. But when she's detoured into the heart of Portland's corruption and comes face to face with her sister, Red will face some ugly truths about how far from home she really is and how much longer her list needs to be. There's a regular cover by Joshua Hickson and a regular price variant by Tess Fowler. Amazing Spider-Man number four. I've been enjoying the first few issues of this. I like Nick Spencer's writing. So I'm going to continue to pick this up for now. There's a regular cover by Ryan Otley. There's also a regular price Return of the Fantastic Four variant by Chris Sprouse. Avengers number six. This concludes the final host. It's the final battle against the Dark Celestials, a battle unlike any of the Avengers have ever experienced, a battle a million years in the making. It's the new team of heavy hitters assembles at last, but with a young and experienced ghostwriter proved to be the most important and powerful member of all. There's a regular Emma Guinness cover, there's also a regular price Return of the Fantastic Four variant by John Cassidy. Black Panther number three. Rebels make their move on the verge of liberating the nameless T'Challa, M'Baku, and Nakia hunt for the mysterious artifact that promises to turn the tide. What is the Mkron shard? And will T'Challa find its acquisition worth the cost? There's three different covers for it. There's a regular Enhak Lee cover. There's a regular priced Carol Danvers 50th anniversary cover. There's also an incentive variant by Jamal Campbell. I love the regular cover. N. Hock Lee's an awesome artist. If I was picking just on covers alone, it would have easily been my pick of the week, but I'm going to pick up the regular cover nonetheless. Life of Captain Marvel number two. This contains the definitive origin of Captain Marvel, according to Marvel. It's going to have four different covers for it. There's a regular Julian Titino Tedesco cover. There's a regular price Humberto Ramos Return of the Fantastic Four variant. There's an incentive Terry Dotson variant. There's also an incentive Adam Kubert variant. Punisher number one. Punisher no longer has the War Machine armor, but he retained his newly acquired taste for big game and he's hungry for more. However, the paths to such perilous pursuits are fraught with dangers bigger than any Frank has ever faced before. And this lone wolf could use otherworldly help on his way up to the world stage. Just like the title, Marvel's gonna punish us with seven different covers for this. There's a regular Smallwood cover. There's a regular price Salvador La Roca Return of the Fantastic Four variant. There's a blank variant. There's an incentive Clayton Crane variant. An incentive Frank Cho variant. There's an incentive Mike Zek Hidden Gem color variant. And an incentive Mike Zek Hidden Gem sketch variant. Jeesh, talk about penny and dime. Venom number five. Donny Cates is writing a masterpiece with this arc. He's even got people going back buying older comics at dollar bins that are going crazy on eBay for all types of prices. So this looks to be no different. There's a regular cover by Ryan Stegman. There's also a return of the Fantastic Four variant by Gerardo Safino. Wakanda Forever Avengers number one. Black Panther joins the fight against Nakia, AKA the villainous and crazed Malice. Finally, the man of her dreams is within Nakia's grasp, but he's brought a few friends with him and they're not happy about the world-ending weapon she's unleashed. The seemingly all-powerful Mimic 27 has already laid out Storm and the X-Men and the Dora Milaje are at a loss. If they're gonna save Wakanda and the world, Akoya, Ayo, and Anika will have to delve deeper into the mysteries of the Doras. This is gonna have a regular Terry Dotson cover, a Yasmin Putri connecting variant, and a Vanessa Del Rey variant, all regular priced. West Coast Avengers number one. 
This assembles a new West Coast Avengers team in Kate Bishop, Hawkeye, American Chavez, Gwenpool, and Kid America. It's the new West Coast Avengers and better hope they can figure out how to save the world because big things are headed for the West Coast. This will have five different covers. There's a regular Stefano Caselli cover. There's an Incentive Lauren Tsai variant. There's an Incentive Paul Renaud variant. An Incentive Mike McCone variant. And an Incentive Terry Dodson variant. Trials and Tribulations of Miss Tilney number one. This comes from Antarctic Press. London Post columnist Henrietta Tilney finally gets her chance to be a real reporter. Her first assignment? Interview Lord Beowulf, the mass murderer. But the genial Lord Harwood and his brilliant but near amoral associate Dr. Charles Plum proclaim his innocence. Something tells Miss Tilney that he's right, but finding out the dark secrets behind his framing may be the death of them all. Wasted Space number four. This comes from Vault Comics. It's the penultimate issue to the series. Things are looking grim for Billy, Dust, and Molly Sue, but when are they not? Plus, we finally get the answer to the age-old question, will terrible people ultimately destroy us all? We have a regular cover by Margaret Savage. There's also a regular price variant by Hayden Sherman. So there it is. Those are my picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, August 22nd, 2018. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to my channel. That way you'll never miss a future video. This is Brian with Simple Man's Comics, and I'll see you next week.